You knew the risks when you decided to drive drunk. There could be a crash. People could get hurt or killed. But that didn't stop you, did it? You knew you could get arrested. You could incur huge legal expenses. And you could possibly even lose your job. You were well aware of the consequences of driving drunk. But one thing's for sure. You were wrong when you said it was no big deal. Drive sober or get pulled over. This message brought to you by NHTSA. Inside Motorsport looks back at the first visit of the supercars to South Australia's new $110 million facility at Tail and Bend. I hope you stay with us. The record books will show that Shane Van Gisbergen was the first supercar winner at the Bend Motorsport Park. He talked about what it means to take that honour. Pretty awesome. Um, it is a shame. Jamie had to double stack. Um, we sort of did that on purpose, hoping for a mid-race pit stop. Um, you know, we didn't know what the tyres were going to be like. Um, hadn't done more than three laps without going off the track, so it was, uh, yeah, we just were so unsure. So we picked a mid-race stop, which unfortunately leads to a double stack. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty awesome feeling. Shame we couldn't be both up front. We both had pretty quick cars. Uh, mine seemed a little better at the start, but, um, yeah, awesome day. I know it could massively change tomorrow, but this feels like the first time all year where there's been a big difference between you and the DJR Team Penty cars. Does it feel like that from where you're standing? Um, I don't know. I think a couple of rounds we've been quite a bit slower. The Grand Prix, Phillip Island, which was the worry leading into this week. Um, hard tyre on those type of tracks has been a little bit of our weakness um, and a similar sort of layup here. So it was a bit of a worry, but... Yeah, we've done some good preparation. The last few rounds have been really good for us, so it was awesome to see how far our cars come on the hard tyre and seem to be understanding that tyre a little bit better. And, um, yeah, all weekend we've been, been good when we've been able to keep it on the track. And all of a sudden, a 180-point deficit's now, like, 41. I know it's early days, but that, you've taken a big chunk out of him. It could all change tomorrow. Um, we just need to keep accumulating, keep having good days, keep focused. No mistakes, and we'll keep clawing away at it. Van Gisbergen discussed how difficult this setup was as the track has such a mix of slow and fast turn corners. Yeah, I think so. It's like, yeah, good question. Like any long track, you're better off, like I was struggling on one corner, particularly in, in the first practice, and I think you're better off not focusing on one but trying to get the best balance overall. We chased it for a little bit at the start of that session and it just screwed the rest of the track up so it is a challenge it's a bit of a compromised setup there's so many different styles of corner here and that's the challenge of it it's really really cool trying to as Jamie said refreshing a little bit to have a new new thing to try and achieve you know we don't often get a high grip track like this and yeah having so many different types of corners curbs braking zones it's it's a real challenge. Nissan was second and third on Saturday with Rick Kelly and Michael Caruso talking about their performance. This track doesn't have any degradation though so um, it's hard to gauge exactly where we're at there but nevertheless our outright pace again is exceptional. It's in the, in the top four again. We, like everyone, had a story to tell in qualifying so that's, um, it's going to be exciting tomorrow. There's going to be dust and debris and crap everywhere for everyone to try and, try and deal with but um, yeah, the, the race pace is, um, is improving and there's still areas that we need to work on and like Michael said there's a little bit going on with, with those guys trying things to help um, combat that so we're very comfortable with that um, to, to run second today and have decent pace is um, like you say a good step forward so we'll capitalise on that here but every track is very different um, and, and this one we seem to have dialed in okay uh, to, to get us back there and uh, you know between a, a few little mechanical issues and then obviously um, being taken out you know in two of the last three events it's, it's really hard to get momentum even if you're fast so um, the speed's clearly there but uh, you know this weekend we've been running some um, some development componentry which is a great sign because it's out of the box and it's it seems to be good we obviously um, need to work on that race speed but uh, the one lap speed seems to be very good and we've sort of shown that uh, throughout the weekend. On Sunday, Jamie Winkup backed up fourth place with a victory.